Mike Biltusi, or Mike B as uh, some of us call him, was born under the sign of Taurus. Now, even if you're not into astrology, you probably know about the bull as the symbol of Taurus. Its characteristics of focus, intensity, and determined energy are the same characteristics of Mike B. But you may not know of another characteristic of Taurus. Tauruses are not open books. Their feelings, fears, and desires often run far deeper than anyone around them would guess. They are loyal, devoted to persons and groups. They are team players working towards a common purpose. They are dedicated, wholly committed to an ideal or cause. Well, might be has all of those things as well. So let's take a closer look at Mike Biltusi, this bull, this open book, sealed page. Mike's father was a military man, stubborn and focused. His mother was a fighter, totally dedicated to her family with a great work ethic. She raised four children on her own, always doing the right thing for her kids. Mike took those characteristics to high school, where a mentor ignited his interest in television production. And at 19, he was directing daily newscasts at a West Palm Beach television station. Then it was on to Atlanta, where he produced programs with Henry Aaron, Lester Maddox, and Charlie Daniels. Hank Aaron, a black man born in 1934 Alabama, who in 1974 broke Babe Ruth's home run record while receiving death threats. Lester Maddox, governor of Georgia, from 1967 to 1971, an avowed segregationist. And Charlie Daniels, the wild southern rock icon, best known for the song, The Devil Went Down to Georgia. Now that's a diverse group of people. And might be, no matter what his opinions, could work with all of them. Then it was on to San Diego when I first met him in 1986, and it was at a early department head meeting when I was soliciting opinions from department heads on a project and Mike literally jumped out of his chair and said to me, why don't you stop asking us what you want because you know what you want so just tell us. So I told him and he did it. Producing live events with Peter Jennings, Diane Sawyer, gubernatorial and mayoral debates, concerts, parades, telethons, and a presidential town hall, all live. It was part of the station's strategy, with Mike and his team leading the way to KGTV San Diego's 10 dominance in the San Diego market. I mentioned the presidential town hall held live in our studios and broadcast around the country. It's a perfect example of Mike B's dedication and focus to do whatever it takes to get the job done. 60 seconds prior to the president, Bill Clinton, and anchors Carol LeBeau and Stephen Clark entering the studio, the wireless mics failed. With determined energy, Mike B had wired mics with studio floor directors crawling on their backs underneath the cameras to hand the microphone to the president of the United States so he could take questions from the audience. The station's crew, the live audience, the Secret Service, all knew what was happening. The national audience had no idea that there was something going on in our studios. That's our might be, focused and intense on getting the job done. Now that intensity could scare the hell out of some people. When I needed a volunteer to temporarily run our Bakersfield station while I recruited, might be stepped up and volunteered. A few weeks later, I went to visit the station, and I found a staff in total shock, wondering what hurricane and tornado blew into Bakersfield. When he left to come back to San Diego, those same people wanted him to stay. When our promotion manager, Judy Vance, would hire a new young producer, and inevitably they would miss a deadline, she would send them to Mike B's office. He would explain that when you missed a deadline, all the work that others had done was all for naught. 
that airtime vanishes. And then rising in a loud voice, he would say, there are no do-overs in TV. And they would slink back to Judy's office, ashen white, shaking. Later as they grew, she would often overhear them telling young producers, you know, there are no do-overs in TV. <laughs> there was the bull. Howard Olaf, a salesman at Channel 10, said to me one day about Mike, it's hard to nail him down. The essence of him is hard to get your hands around. He could be tough and sometimes harsh, but he had a heart of gold. That was never more appreciated than when one of his daughters became ill, and Mike took a leave of absence to be with her and nurse her back to health. The bull and the open book seal page, always loyal, always dedicated. Now, if we went around this room and I asked you to name just a few people who you would want by your side in a tough situation, who would you say? Well, for me, at the top of the list would be Mike Beltusi, Mr. B. It's been an honor to have worked with him, but more important, it's been an honor to be his friend. Mike Beltusi.